Good day, this is Peter Michael reporting for KHTV News in downtown Houston, where we're preparing for a major storm to come through the area. As you can see now, we're starting to dry out from early rain, but the real challenge for emergency responders is what's happening with the roads. After 18 inches that pummeled the area, we're looking at the arrival of Hurricane Miguel, which is expected to bring flooding up to two to three feet as far west as Houston, all the way south to Corpus Christi. The real challenge now is the effect of falling rains throughout the area and what that means for evacuation routes. If you haven't already been contacted in your area, you'll want to be listening to the National Weather Service to identify when and if you should evacuate your home. As we look to the map here, you can see the first amount of rain has risen water levels up to a half a foot. We expect that to continue two to three feet as we move into the evening. And as you can also see on the map, the red areas here are the areas which have already been marked for possible flooding and certainly for evacuation. Complicating matters further is the fact that these roaming power outages throughout Houston at this point. First responders have been unable to identify what the cause of this is, but the city has released a public announcement that its engineers have been working around the clock to identify and solve the challenge. For the time being, it appears to be completely unrelated to the weather, though we are still looking at what is possibly causing these power outages which is making it difficult for both the evacuees and first responders to get to these areas in need. Reporting from downtown Houston, this is Peter Michael with KHTV News, your news first.